Hey everybody, it's a glider cat and it's time to play. We are back in Exodus Borealis. Let me unpause the game. Or no, let's leave it paused here for a second. <laughs> let's just uh, survey what we've got going on here. We've got another home being built. It looks like we've got two available homes. So we've got room for expansion as our villagers either produce more villagers and expand into the new homes or we find a way to bring in some people from the outside. Let's see, what else do we have going on? We got our school, our textile mill is up. We don't have anybody working that. However, it does have some plant fiber. We could throw somebody on that, at least part-time. And then we've got our basic house waiting to be upgraded. And what does this thing need? It still needs five cloths, so I guess we could Leave the textile mill on cloth and maybe see if we can free up a worker to go do that. And then we'd get our first house upgrade. We also, last episode, we placed our first boost tower. We'll see how that thing works. And then we've got an increasing number of the large arrow towers. So let's go ahead and hit play and move on. We don't have any attack imminent at the moment. And let's take a look at the research tree. We're currently researching warm clothes. And then our job management, let's just see where we're at with this. We've got one available general worker. We're running with two miners, one doing the ore, iron ore, and one doing um, stone. And we're getting a few gems along the way. We haven't set up a mine just to do gems. We, I think we've researched that. I think we got the ability to do that. We have somebody doing research. We have mortar. We have our teacher, like I mentioned. And we have our iron smelter going. Anxious to get more villagers going. What is everybody doing now? They're all sleeping. Okay, here we are in spring. Let's pause for a second and take a look at our farms. Let's see here. Research. Okay, let's close all that. Yeah, our farm situation. We tell oh that one destroyed building prior placement rebuild the destroyed building oh so this I didn't even notice this may have been when that first um when that those first couple demons made it through they may have destroyed this it looked like it was still there but that has not been producing this one's fine with the sand fruit okay that's a spring crop that's a spring crop. That one needs to be rebuilt. Okay, so there's the two buildings that were effectively destroyed when those demons came through ages ago. Okay, we'll mark that for rebuilding. Let me just hit play and hopefully see that do its thing. Okay. Then we've got... Oh, our life Risha mushrooms. That'll be used for the healing hut. We don't have that yet. Okay, we've got a lot of crops to plant in the spring. Uh, this one in spring too yeah let's take one of the miners off but i guess before we do let's take a look at our inventory how are we doing on iron looks pretty good iron looks really good actually maybe we take the smelter off let's go into job management oh we got more workers too uh let's immediately get another farmer going oh it's right in front of me i keep scrolling past it nice very very nice we could probably put one on... Boy, this is really, really good. Let's add the weaver. So we managed to keep two miners. We've got somebody doing the weaving. We've got the recipe set to cloth. So maybe we'll get this home upgraded. And hopefully those people living in here... We picked a host that has... Or picked a house that has four people in it. So we get the maximum benefit. But if this upgrades, I think they end up working longer. So that's good to see. And I'm wondering right now if we should do another plant of the fiber leaf. We've got only one crop of that. What is this? This is going to be itchy root or itchy root. I don't know how you pronounce it. Let's see if we can place another farm. Uh, and hopefully two farms can keep up with all this work. That will take a farm. Let's do more fiber leaf because I think we're going to need the clothing. And I actually may put that on high priority. 
maybe, maybe we can get a crop planted in spring if that gets built right away. It only takes, what, 10 wood. We still have wood in the crashed boat here. At some point, we may open up this mine. We still have 51 stone local, so it's not urgent. Okay, the gong, we got an attack coming tonight. How are we doing with our towers? Uh, they're making use of the gate, which is cool. Does it go up and down? No, they're just able to kind of walk through as long as there's no enemies around. This tower is not going to get built. Wow, the boost towers are expensive. 71 wood, 43 stone. That's probably not going to make it. Let's place the arrow tower on high. I'm actually more interested in that one. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to shortcut through here. They probably will. We've got both of these on high, so I guess that's fine. Tree farms look like they're working pretty good here. It looks like I've got room for another one. Why don't we do that too? I won't mark this one high priority, but let's get another tree farm placed. And which ones, which trees? Let's do... Snipper's trees take approximately, wow, two years. 40 wood. Year and a half for 30. Let's do coniferous. I got to think that makes more sense. All right, we can double speed it. We know we got an attack coming tonight, but we've got some time before that comes. Mortar, do we have, we don't have anybody in the charcoal mill. Did I put anybody back in there? I don't think I did. No, we don't. Uh, we do have a researcher. Uh, after this research is done, maybe we take, we put research on hold and add some more charcoal. We're doing okay. We're still at 66 charcoal. You can see we've got three gems. And I think maybe the, um, maybe this tower here, the boost tower can take gems. We'll have to see. It'll be kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested to see that or what the next level towers are going to be. That research is done. All right, I'm gonna take, uh, let's take down the research. Job management. I'm gonna pull off the researcher and shore up our charcoal burner. It might also be time to build the kitchen or the healers building. Let's get one of those placed over here in our kind of initial village area so we've got the textile mill we got the school let's build we have well we have food too how is food two 155 cook house the building where raw food is heated over a fire and made into cooked food eating better food improves movement speed and carrying strength i like the sound of that we've got all those supplies let's do that boom get that placed Leave that one on medium priority. Oh, we got our towers. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Ooh, yeah, they're cutting through that open spot. Ooh, we may pay a price for that. Oh, yeah, we're going to pay a price. Oh, not quite. Can't quite get it. Yeah, we're in trouble. He's going to take down something. Boy, it was close. And it's just having that one thing open. Oh, well, we've got it marked high. Hopefully it'll get built for next time. Let's keep an eye on what this guy tears out. I think he's going to tear down one building and then he disappears himself. We don't have to have villagers attack him or anything. Let's see what he takes out. Where are you going for, buddy? Hopefully a farm plot because those are cheap. Don't take out the storehouse. Oh, this one. Okay, and then he disappears. All right, so, oh, he, did he take out more than one? I guess not. Let's get a new farm placed quick. Replace that. Um, what was that? I don't even know. We have one itchy, two sands. Another itchy there. Life shot, two fiber leaf. Ooh, was that another, that was our fiber leaf. Let's do another fiber leaf. Oh, I can just rebuild. I see. Yeah. Not too bad. Boy, if all the buildings that I would want them to take out 
that would probably be my first choice. Not that I want any taken out. But if I have to lose one, a farm is probably the cheapest thing to replace. So not too bad. I think we would have taken that guy out if they had to snake around. We just have this one tower to replace. I have to keep that in mind. I put these walls in between the towers thinking we can have some further expansion, but get the, you know, get the maze started at least. But yeah, as we expand, we need to uh, be aware that they're going to be able to take a shortcut as we take down sections of the wall and replace it with towers. Because I think we can have like back to back towers. It may not look quite as nice. We'll get a first glimpse of it once our little uh, boost tower gets built. All right. So we don't have anybody doing research right now. Charcoal, we can double speed it and move things along. Okay, charcoal looks okay. That's kind of rebounding. Iron stone. Everything looks pretty good. I don't see iron ore. So our smelter has charcoal and has some ore. So that's getting turned into iron pretty fast. That's probably the next worker I would look to take off because we have a ton of iron. I could... Why don't we... We're in summer now. Does anything get planted? I don't think there's anything that's actually planted in the summer. Or maybe the itchy root. Yeah, itchy root gets planted in the summer, but I think we've only got one or two fields of that. I think our farmers can probably handle that. Two farmers is enough. All right. Things are just humming along. I guess we can place another tower over here. Let's do it. Oh, there's our boost tower just got built. Let's do another large arrow tower. Another section of wall. Boom. And then we know we're going to have a gate here. We're going to, this is going to be the way through with gates. So I'll place that. Now let's look at this boost tower. Okay. Operational increases damage by a small amount. So I thought we could place gems in this thing, but I don't see a way to do it. Maybe there's something in the research tree. So this, I'm not sure if it's impacting this tower, the two next to it, these two, and maybe that one. That would be pretty cool if it does. So yeah, I thought we could put gems in there. Let's look at the research tree. Oh. Yeah, I can't even uh, research the use of the gem for boosting nearby towers. Adding the falling effect. Okay, we got to go through gem mining and everything else to even do it. So I can pick the research. We don't have anybody on yet. Let's see. Let's take... Where is our smelter? I'm going to take our smelter off because we've got plenty of iron. And I'm going to get the research going on that gem line. I didn't really realize... That in order to use those boosts, we have to, uh, we gotta research it. So we have gems, but we need to research a bunch of this stuff. And once we do, then I bet we can slot a gem inside that, uh, boost tower. Let's see, what are the other towers that are coming? Blast tower and bombardment tower. So I'd like to, once we research some of this gem stuff, I want to get back to doing the other towers. How we doing? Did our house ever get upgraded? This one's still waiting on cloth. What's going on here? Plant fiber one. Maybe we take the person off the textile mill until we get more plant fiber. They don't have anything to do. So let's pull off the weaver and maybe pop them as a farmer. If they don't have anything to do, they'll act like general workers. We could probably take our extra worker and throw them down as a farmer too. I don't know if that's a better, maybe even a better approach. But yeah, I'd like to get to some more upgraded towers, even more than just these arrow ones. I suppose we could start upgrading some more towers too. We could pick one for upgrade. Maybe this guy here, we upgrade to a large arrow tower. Boom. And mark that high as well. That one's not going to... They're not going to be able to take a shortcut as we work on that. So that might make sense to do that. All 
All right, let's check our inventory. Charcoal is doing good. Stone's okay. We've got two ice gems. Maybe that's the first research that we do. Okay, gem mining is done. Let's do, yeah, let's do ice. We have two ice gems. So we'll get that going. <clears throat> kind of wonder where that cloth went. You know, we had the textile mill. It used to have 10 fiber. It takes three for one cloth. Oh, maybe. Let's see our storage. Lightning gem, fire gem, raw food. Hey, our cookhouse is done. Let's let's actually take our last worker and put them in the cookhouse. And just figure that the farmers will have extra time to do some resource hauling. And we'll go with no workers for a season or two and just see how that works. Where is everybody sleeping? Yeah, everybody's sleeping right now. Curious to see if both far or if we have three farmers, if they're all working or not. We've got 93 food. It's gone down a bit. Hopefully these cooked meals will help. I don't know if they last longer, meaning we get more meals out of the food, or if it just gives our citizens a, a buff in terms of their movement speed and how much they can haul. Well, I see three farmers here pretty busy. So we might, let's see. We might have to take somebody back just to be a worker, just in case. I think I'm going to pull back the charcoal burner for a bit. I want to make sure we have at least one worker. I thought we'd have an extra farmer, but they're all working. So we'll keep them on task so we have enough food. Of course, we get another attack. They're going to come probably every night pretty soon. Probably get into that stage. Running at double speed, no research right now. We are trying to cook some meals. I see the building is a smoking. Hopefully it smells nice in the village. Get the smell of cooking food. Now that's going to chew up some charcoal. So we'll need to keep an eye on that. 106. We're doing okay on charcoal. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Ooh, our, our house got built. So we've got... Okay, and someone's in that one. That one's open, and yeah, we've got two open houses. We might be able to throw down another. Let's think about that. Also, we've been we haven't been uh, working on our path. Let's do a little bit more of that too. So, civilian buildings path. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. So there's some more path and let's throw down maybe another house over this way. Or how about we have a little neighborhood starting over here. Let's just place one. We'll leave it low, you know, regular priority normal. All right. That arrow tower got upgraded. Nice. And then maybe right after the attack tonight, we will pick another tower to upgrade. I don't know where we should do that. But we are going to want to upgrade these. I wonder if we should... Hmm. Maybe this one. Although I wonder if they would be able to cut through. Well, that could be... That could be a big problem. We could always put a temporary wall here. And then that would allow us to upgrade these... A little safer. Maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll just keep adding towers. All right. We've got a bit of a challenge here. Things are getting tougher for sure. All right. That's all good. I'm going to pause. And I'm going to pick another tower to be upgraded. How about this guy in the end? That one's kind of easy, right? Because 
that doesn't provide much of a shortcut. Let's upgrade that one, put it on high priority. We're still going to keep extending the maze as we go. That, I'm happy with that. Let's double speed it. A look at our work situation. Uh, workers. Got one worker, that's fine. Mortar mill. How are we doing on mortar? Do we have a ton of that? 130. May need another miner, you know, or even a lumberjack. How are we doing on wood overall? Well, 143 chopped wood across the entire island. That doesn't seem too bad. We've been getting to buy with a single lumberjack. We are running three farmers. And we just took the weaver off. We don't have a charcoal burner. That's maybe the thing we got to keep an eye on. And again, the teachers, I just have no idea if we're getting a benefit from this or not. I sure hope so. I can't see it in here, right? Does it say? It doesn't really say if they're educated. Oh, I guess if I click on them, it will, right? Let's look at some of the two-year-olds. Yeah, education is poor. Poorly educated. Minus 10% work efficiency. Now, the school's been around long enough for these guys to be educated. So I'm a little kind of confused as to what it takes to get them educated. All right, research is done. Let's keep that moving. Let's do ice boost so we can use our boost tower as well. Now, can I, with the ice damage, can I add that to one of these towers? Ooh, I can upgrade to ice tower. Let's hold off uh, until the next wave comes through. I want to have a full building cycle before I upgrade. But Oh, can I upgrade this to an ice tower? No, I got to go first to large arrow tower and then to ice tower. I kind of want to do that to this guy, though. That'll be our next upgrade. Oh, this guy can be boosted. No, he can't. He cannot be boosted yet. We're researching that right now. So if we look at the research, yeah. Ice boost. Research the use of the gem for boosting. Okay, there's our little warning. Research the use of the gem for boosting nearby towers, adding the following effect. Greatly increases the tower's max damage. Damage for each attack is randomly between the base damage and the max damage for the tower. Okay. So it's not consistent how much damage they'll do. All right, this guy looks like he's being upgraded. That is cool. I'm going to wait for this next wave to come through. Then we're going to upgrade this arrow tower to a ice tower. And then we may even have... Well, we'll see. We may be able to upgrade. We may be able to boost this thing with ice damage using our boost tower. Oh, look at that. That one's done too. Let's plunk down another defense buildings. We'll get another one started anyway. I guess I can do the section of wall as well. Another wave coming in. We've been holding them off. Both of these mines, I think, are being worked, right? We have two miners. We may need another mine, actually, just to keep the supply of materials going. Maybe over here. We do have a mine down here. I'm just nervous about hauling materials from this one. It's pretty far away. I'm thinking we, wait, we may want to place another mine. Let's do it. I think we're going to be using it pretty soon. Where can I slot this guy in? It'd be nice if there was a spot. That'll work. All right. Keep an eye on things. Research is done. Let's pick another one. Let's do another tower. How about a blast tower? Let's take a look at the jobs. Researchers or charcoal burner is the one that's missing. Ooh, and we may have lost a person. I may have missed it. All right, I'm going to pause. If you look at the bottom of the screen. It says an invader wave with a total level of 63 was spotted approaching the gate. Armored level three orgs. That doesn't sound so great. 
Now, the thing I just noticed was I think we have less citizens. We're down to zero general workers, and I had it set up so we had one. I may take the farmers back to two. Food's at 172, so we're in good shape there. That gets us a general worker. We're still short on charcoal burners. Looks like our house is built. How are we doing? I just want to check a few things. This one's still waiting for cloth. And we've got some plant fiber at the textile mill if we want to fire that up again. Let's go ahead and hit play. We'll go single speed. We've got the attack coming. Here they are. I don't... Ooh, let's pause for a second. Oh, I can't see my mouse. There it is. Can I boost this one yet? Oh, I can, but I gotta... No, I can't boost it yet. Upgrade to an... Oh, to an ice boost tower. Shoot, I gotta take this guy offline. I was hoping I could just slot in a gem. Greatly increases the tower's max damage. All right, all right, all right. Let's... Okay, let's watch. This doesn't look too bad. Now, these guys are stronger, though. And are they cutting through? No, they can't cut through. Everything's sealed off. Okay, these guys, fortunately, aren't moving too fast. So that is good. Now, let's pause for a second. I want to boost this guy up to an ice tower. A speed reduction, stacking. Stacks have a diminishing effect and cannot completely stop a target. Takes 10 steel. Steel, we don't have steel. We don't have steel. Let's put our smelter on steel. Uh, what's the recipe for that? Charcoal and iron. We've got plenty of both, I think. Let's play. We'll get that on steel. We can't do that one yet. We could... What's it take to upgrade this guy? Takes 10 steel. Shoot, I didn't get to see the recipe before that did that. Hopefully we can get that done. I'm going to leave this tower in the back on normal. I'm going to put the boost tower upgrade. Oh, I can cancel the upgrade. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's wait till we get steel. Uh, a decent supply of steel on hand. Bummer. Let's see, do we have somebody in the steel mill? We do not. Yeah, somehow we came up short on workers. I could take the cook off. Let's take the cook out for a bit. And smelt some steel. Mortar mason, miners. I'm just looking for somewhere I can steal. I guess the researcher, but we want to get those other towers too. Yeah, I think we must have had a citizen die or something. I'm not sure how long they last. How long they live, I should say. We've got housing for more. We're trying to upgrade to come more comfortable housing. Winter time. Uh, there is a crop that's planted in the winter, isn't there? Is it the fiber leaf? Planted in spring. Life shra is planted in the winter. We're not really using that yet. Yeah, we just need more villagers. But boy, the game keeps you... Um, definitely keeps you challenged in terms of resources. And balancing where you use your people. It's A lot of work's gone into to, uh, setting that balance, it seems. Not sure what this is. This looks like some building materials that were left behind. Maybe when I canceled the upgrade. Arrow tower, boy, I'd like to upgrade, but I want to have steel before we even start that process. Okay, morning, spring. Okay. Tip, making citizens more smarter. Now I've done it. I got a school, but it doesn't seem to be helping. Okay, there's a growing number of children and a sufficient number of adults to which one could be assigned to improving the education of future generations. Citizens raised with a better education will produce quicker will produce quicker in their adult years. Faster production means tasks such as construction, mining, and resource production will be done quicker. 
School, okay, without any upgrades, schools can educate up to five children at the same time. Education in childhood improves citizens' work efficiency for their whole life. The quality of education is greatly impacted by the education level of the teacher. A citizen with the greatest education will always be prioritized to be teacher. It will be, it will take many generations of students to achieve higher levels of education. I see. So we're kind of being stunted by the fact that our Whoever's working in the school isn't so smart to start with, probably. I'm going to pause for a second. Let's just take a look again at where we're at. We've kept a teacher on pretty much continuously. But our citizens are not getting smarter. Oh, we got some workers back. So somebody, somebody, some kids maybe grew up to be able to work. But yeah, these guys are just not, if I click, I'm going to go through some of these and just, I'm looking at the bottom right to see if anybody's got education. It could just be that our teacher is just not doing the best job. Oh, hey, we've got somebody who's educated. Jay, Sh Jay Sean is a two-year-old who did manage to pay attention in class and has some small education. And that villager may be the only one who knows anything about schooling. Oh, it looks like there's a couple levels, right? Uneducated. I see. And poorly educated. Okay, okay. So we are getting some to be poorly educated, which is better than uneducated. So we've been getting a little bit of a boost Right, a 10% work efficiency boost by having that school running. Now, does it is that as good as leaving someone in the kitchen? I don't I don't know. Now we fortunately we've got three new workers, so let's add the cook. Let's add the charcoal burner. And we'll stick with oh, we're in spring. I'm gonna add a farmer. We're gonna get by with no workers right now. Because I want to make sure we have enough crop planted. I'm going to pause again. Sorry. We got through a battle. We talked about... Do we have steel? We talked about upgrading a tower. Do we have any steel yet? This guy's got all the charcoal and iron they need. Where is the steel? Can I see it on here? Iron. We have no steel produced yet. Let me just double check. We've got a smelter. Don't think there's anything magical that needs to happen. We could upgrade something else in the meantime. Why don't we take this tower and bring this up to a large arrow tower? Boom. Prioritize that. And then we'll get to the ice towers once we have some steel. And then maybe we'll, yeah, once we get this tower update upgraded and maybe one more, then we'll upgrade the boost tower too. So, all right, that is going. We've got three farmers. That should be good. We don't have anybody working in the kitchen. Tempted. Very, very tempted. I don't know where we could take them. We could take a researcher off. Mortar. We've been getting by with one builder. That seems to be plenty. How are we doing on mortar? Is that up here? That is 220 mortar. Let's get the mortar guide off. That's we don't need any more of that. Uh, Boom. And let's get the kitchen going. Oh, we have a cook. How about we get the weaver going? We're a little stretch here. Got 11 fiber. That'll be what? I think it's three per cloth. So that'll be three cloth at least. We do have more fiber leaf. We have two crops of fiber leaf. Planted in the spring with a fall harvest. And again, we do have three farmers, so hopefully they can get all of that stuff done. They have a lot to do in the spring. All right, let's double speed it. We could take a researcher off, actually. Let's do that. Let's take a researcher off and add a fourth farmer just for this season. And then we'll resume the research once we get through spring. 
I'm sure the gong is going to sound here pretty soon. There we go. Right on cue. <laughs> yeah, I'm anxious to get the upgraded towers and use some of these little elements that we've been harvesting. Oh, we got another mine here. I should shut this one down just because I want to make sure that we still have iron ore being mined. And uh, if I have three mines up and two miners, I can't know for sure that they're not both going to be mining stone. All right, we're trying to get this guy upgraded. Looks like he needs 18 more mortar, and that will be done. And then we've got a tower here, kind of a normal priority. I'll bump this one up to high once we've got this arrow tower upgraded. The maze is getting bigger. Slowly but surely. Our citizens are slowly but surely getting educated. We were up to 13 adults and 6 children. We've been doing pretty good. I think things are going pretty well in the village. We're holding these guys off. I feel like, I feel like we should have more of these towers upgraded by now. But there we go. That one's upgraded. I'm going to prioritize this guy on high. And then after tonight's attack, we will maybe pick one of these guys. We'll check and see if we have steel. If we have steel, we'll upgrade this one right here to an ice tower. If we don't have steel, we'll upgrade this one to a large arrow tower and just kind of keep increasing our defenses. Okay, I see our pathing got done. We could add another path down here. I can see people walking this way. Let's add, put down a little bit more path. Kind of doing that a little bit at a time. I'm nervous about putting path here. I wonder, can we place a building on top of a path? Like if I wanted to place a tower. Oh, why can't I build defensive buildings? Oh, let's pause. So you'll notice the defensive building menu got disabled when these uh, when the enemy comes. That must be intentional. These guys seem fast. Seem very fast. I'm a little nervous here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This could be bad. Come on. Oh man. Yeah, we made it. I'm going to pause. <laughs> <laughs> we made it, but just barely. Oh, man. We need to ramp up. Where is our steel? Do we have any? No. Oh, we got 30 steel. Let's go and upgrade this thing to an ice tower, and it may slow some of these guys down. So upgrade to ice tower. High priority. Uh, I'll hit play so we can see the priority change. And I'm going to bring this guy over to a normal priority because I really want this upgrade up close to get done first. So we will see. We made it through. We've got a bunch of farmers going right now in spring. We're going to change that. As soon as spring's over, we'll pull a farmer off and maybe just leave him as a worker. And then our textile worker here. Textile mill does not have any inventory. Let's pull that person off right away. Till we get more. Um... Actually, we can put... Yeah, we're fine for now. We'll leave them as a worker. And then once spring is over here pretty soon, we'll pull a farmer off and either put them on research or masonry. Getting by with one lumberjack and one builder seems to be just fine. Oh, and I was going to see if we can build a tower on top of pavement. Looks like we can. So we could create a path. Why don't we do that? Closer to our maze here because we keep sending people over here to do work. In fact, maybe it should kind of be where these gates are. Hopefully it doesn't make the enemy walk faster. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We have no researchers. So we'll take one of the farmers and probably put him on research initially. Keeping our teacher going. We'll either stick with three farmers or maybe even go down to two. 
And it looks like I got some pathing I could do here. I'm going to wait till some more stuff is built. And then maybe we'll add some roads or some paths over here so these guys move a little faster. We had another tree farm that is working. Uh, we may want another tree farm. They take forever to, uh, they take forever to grow. We're doing okay on chopped wood. We're doing good on stone. You know, let's see. Got two miners. I could switch over to just iron on the mines, right? Stone 331. Why don't we do that for a stretch? Hopefully I won't forget. Let's switch this one over to ore and amp that up. All right. It is summer. Let's just get ready to wrap this episode up. I'm going to pause and do a few things here. Let's see. Let's, we talked about, we don't need a weaver. We talked about taking down a farmer and doing the research. Maybe let's do that. Charcoal burner and then a masonry. Let's see how we're doing on masonry. Uh, I guess I can just look over here. Mortar. We're doing pretty good. Let's the research is already picked the blast tower. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that may be it for juggling people around. That looks okay. Houses. We can see they still got their lights on. So we've got one empty one here and one empty one here. Oh, check it out. Our house finally got upgraded. So we've got one nice house. We need more of this uh, fiber leaf and more um, textile mill production to upgrade the other houses. But it's just, like I said, so many things competing for our villagers time. It sure would be nice to get some more villagers. And these waves are getting stronger and stronger. Well, we'll leave it here. I think this is a good place to stop. Our village has been successful so far. Uh, it's got to be a little scary living in these houses right next to the uh, <laughs> right next to the gate. But yeah, not too bad. Let me know what you think in the comments of this series and of this game. I'm really enjoying it. It's Exodus Borealis. Very, very cool. I like the aesthetic. I like the look of the buildings. And again, I think we're off to a pretty good start. So yeah, we'll leave it here. For now, this is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. If you do like this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Helps my tiny channel grow. Definitely appreciate that. And I will see you in the next episode.